Hello and welcome to this module update MOT 2021. In this video I'm going to briefly run through uh, our MOT, the underbody condition and potentially what would be our next project. Um, so first of all the MOT um, for those in the US uh, or in foreign parts the MOT stands for Ministry and Transport and it's an annual test to test the roadworthiness and safety and the environmental friendliness of your vehicle in the UK. So before my MOT, I sort of, uh, took my car out of hibernation, connected the battery, checked the oil, and uh, reset the windows, the radio codes, checked all the tire pressures, reset them, and basically cleaned the windows because uh, been doing a lot of work on the doors and what have you. Start her up and uh, off we go. Everything okie dokie at this point. Get her out of the garage and off to the MLT station. There we went. If you're not familiar with the MLT, uh, the MLT is broken down into a series of items. Here we have the uh, zero, the identification of the vehicle, i.e. the number plate has to apply to the applicable rules, the type, face, spacing, etc. Uh, section 2, the brakes, the condition, they're actually tested. The braking force is actually tested on both front and rear axles per side of the vehicle. Uh, the steering, the mechanical condition, and uh, whether there's any play, etc. The visibility, i.e. if you've got any cracks in the glass in the main viewing area of the windscreen, the operation of the windscreen wipers and the windscreen washer. So if you've got no windscreen washer fluid in your washer, you can potentially fail the MOT test. Then you have the lamps, reflectors, electrical equipment, so make sure the headlamps are working, the stop lamps, indicators, hazard warning lights, fog lamps, all the safety lighting, etc. has to be working if it's fitted. The axles, wheels, tyres, suspension, uh, if you've got TPMS, the tyre mon pressure monitoring system, it's failing, that also is a fail. So a lot of these fancy things um, aren't particularly helpful when it comes to the MOT. Obviously spring shock absorbers, suspension arms, joints, they're all tested for wear, uh, particularly wheel bearings as I found out. Uh, body structure attachments, so basically all the uh, main structures of the body where all the suspension mountings uh, mounted the condition of the floor, interior catches, etc. And then you got other equipment, which is basically seat belts, restraint systems, airbags, the horn, um, speed limiter, etc. And then finally nuisance. That's basically noise level, the exhaust emissions, which are again tested at certain RPMs of the vehicle. And if you've got the engine malfunction light indicator lamp or the mill lamp or the EML lamp lit, that is also a fail. Any leaking fluid potentially is a fail. So it's quite a, um, a long test. Um, it's both, uh, there are some physical tests and um, uh, mostly visual testing of the vehicle. So my car before <laughs> went for all that testing. Uh, some of it's done on the, the lift. And I got a pass. No surprise, thank goodness. There was one advisory, and if you're, if you can read Welsh, you'll be able to uh, interpret that. Or if you don't, you can look it on the, look it up on the MOT history of my vehicle. And I've got another job to do. Oh, life with an XK8. Nothing fairly, uh, nothing really serious, but uh, another job to do, and I'll, uh, I'll create more content with that. <laughs> Um, while I was at the MOT station, I, I asked the um, the owner, uh, Simon, if he minded me uh, taking a few pictures, etc., of the underbody while it's on the ramp to show the subscribers the condition of the car. Um, so he said yes, and he allowed me to do it. Um, and this is the condition of my car from the back to the front. I spent a lot of time coating it in two pack epoxy, uh, basically stone chip underbody paint. Got the rear cross member. I took all the rear suspension off and did it all individually, and obviously all the floors, etc., all covered up. 
both sides is obviously the fuel lines on the left hand side as you look down the vehicle painted the um, the automatic transmission sump when I took that off and changed the fluid and the filter all the front suspension again came off all welded up I painted the sump silver for the engine <laughs> I thought that, that looked a lot better that way and it's always got stainless steel fasteners all around. I quite, as you imagine I'm quite proud of all this I've done and it, it reminded me that I've done quite a lot to the vehicle and possibly I am nearing the end of what I want to do with this particular car and uh, yeah thoughts about the next step. I mean if you're interested this is the over axle pipes the Adamash ones I've fitted very similar to most other enthusiasts fit to their XK8s. Right the way over, over axle basically means over the axle as you can see there, there's the drive shaft and I have the uh, fairly rare Romulus Remus back boxes, most people put straight through pipes on the back but I'm quite uh, keen on those Romulus Remus back boxes, they're not quite as uh, harsh as the straight pipes. So there you go, that's the condition of the underbody um spent a lot of time doing that and so the thoughts come now is maybe i'm running out of a bit of content a bit of interest in this particular card maybe i ought to try and think about another project i can see the end of all the work with this car there's still probably another six months of work left in it if i really want to but i i did uh, test drive Oh, I did the test of um, a Silverstone. I didn't actually drive it, but I was in the car when the guy was driving it in the Wrexham NX car Silverstone, and that was the dogs. Absolute awesome car. And it really uh, pricked my interest into XKR coupes in the right colour and with the right options. And maybe I could start from scratch with one of those and do basically what I've done to this car, but uh, in a little bit more detail for the channel. So um, keep, I'll keep you posted. I may well be selling my car in the near future and uh, trading up to an XKR from an XK8. But who knows? We'll, we'll see. It's all thoughts at the moment. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how it goes. What I would say is I'd be interested to see what you guys think about potentially swapping it for an XKR or selling mine and getting another project should i keep this one and um just keep it in good condition or get another project and start from scratch and make it as good as this one i'd be really interested what you think i'm a bit of a dilemma i'm not 100 percent sure which way to go anyway all passed and ready to go for another summer uh the, my xk is ready to go so uh, thanks very much for watching um, lots more content to come. Uh, please like, comment, share and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.